Hemstress. I am the owner of Violet Flame Studios in Scottsdale, and I have the privilege of working with the girls at Yandy and providing movement segments for them. And I am really thrilled to bring to you a different movement segment each week. You can find details for that at Yandy. The program I use for pole dancing is the Pole Cat Power Method. We build the strength, conditioning, and the flexibility that you'll need for a safe pole practice over time. You can find me and a list of all of my online classes here at the studio or in-person classes at violetflamestudios.com. And be sure to follow me at Violet Flame Studios on Facebook or The High Pimpstress on Instagram. I am here with Lauren and Danielle from Yandy, and we are gonna be doing some pole dancing today. We are all wearing some awesome Yandy outfits. Let's model girls. <laughs> so if you like what we've got on, I'm sure you can go onto yandy.com and get yourself some excitingly sexy, thrilling workout gear. And then as we get you girls going through this, then you'll need to get some sexy shorts. Yeah, you can know. Um, so yeah, let's get started. We are going to go over a couple things with you today. I'm going to give these girls a full warm up. We're going to start off with floor work, then we're going to go to pole. We're going to do our pole warm up exercises, and we're going to do a few little uh, strengthening exercises. And we're going to talk a lot about technique, and then we're going to get these girls spinning towards the end. Are you guys ready to spin? So excited. So ready. Have you ever spun like that before? <laughs> only with you one other only, time. Yeah, that's right. Only one other time. And, and you never. 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 Ooh, never. So I'm popping cherries today. <laughs> yes. All right. So I've got three rules of exotic dance and three rules of practicing safe pole. These rules are designed so that you always look good and you're always safe. Rule number one of exotic dance is we always lead with... The coochie. This is what we're selling, right? right? I love it. Now the reason that we lead with the coochie, apart from the fact that I'm just not mature enough for this at all, <laughs> is that if we tilt the pelvis just slightly under, then we take the pressure off the low back, we engage the muscles in the low pelvic floor, and this is going to alleviate back pain or crunching in the back. Oh, and it's also going to free up the movement in the knees and in the hips so that we can get those nice big juicy hip circles that we all know and love with exotic dance movement. And we'll get to rules number two and rules number three of exotic dance as we go through our floor warm up. And it is very important before you get on the pole, make sure you get a full warm up. Okay? Ready to get started? Yeah. Let's do this. Put the knees out, we're going to start with a little bit of a plie. Knees in line with those toes. Two. Now take that right hip and drag it to the right side. Left and right. Now let's take it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. Let's take it a little bit lower. You feel that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, now let's scoop it to the front. So we scoop to the front. You feel that stretch in those hip flexors. And then scoop to the back. Feel that stretch in those hamstrings. Smooth it out so it's kind of like brushing your booty against the wall and tuck under like you're peeing in the snow. All the way around. So we have one, two, three, four. Smooth it all the way. And roll it. Take it down. Feel those thighs. Pull that back. And bring it in. Push those hips side to side. We're going to slinky this down. We're going to take it right on top of those heels. Push the hips side to side. Remember what rule number one was. Leave the coochie. So we have crash shot. Woo! Take it away. Do it again. Do it at a little bounce. Let's put in a shoulder roll. Shoulder roll. And then set it to the ground. Knee softly for one, softly for two. Stretch those toes. Then turn the toes under and sit. Roll right off your heels, onto your hips, onto your back, legs up, and we are ready for rule number two, which is point your toes. Always, always point your toes, ladies. This is the gynecologist. <laughs> so always point those toes. Keep those legs nice and sexy, pretty ballerina feet, and twist those hips side to side. Open for naughty straddle. Roll your ankles. Close back. Take a nice big stretch here. Roll it to your belly, and we are ready for rule number three of exotic dance. Rule number three, strippers always have heavy hair. So even if it's short or pulled up, it's still always heavy. So every time you lift your head, you gotta drag all that stripper heavy hair, okay? Here we go. So our corner no push up, hands down, moves on the floor. Lift your hips and stretch that low back, and bring it down. Add some little bounces here. I just wanted to see which one of you would do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Lift up, and now your porno push-up, you're going to slide back, dragging your heavy hair. Oh, it's so heavy. And roll up the spine and flip that heavy hair back. Add a head roll one, head roll 
start off with, we're going to just put the hands down, and we're just going to hop up to our toes for a nice hamstring stretch. Hop up, and heavy air. Bring it up. Excellent. Okay, let's move on to our pull. Okay, so we are now ready to go into our three rules of practicing safe pole. So rule number one of practicing safe pole is always clean your pole. Because if somebody was on the pole before you and she had oil or lotion on, that can be a safety hazard for you because she can leave a residue on the pole. So same reason that we want to take all of our hand and wrist jewelry off, because metal against metal will slide. Now I like to use my little rags here, and I use a solution of 99% alcohol and water. This helps to dry out any oil or lotion in your hands, and it also helps to sterilize the pole. Rule number two, rule number two of practicing safe pole is know your pole. Become one with the pole, kumbaya with the pole. You need to exercise a little bit of common sense and make sure that it's a safe pole and that it's a pole that can accommodate what you plan on doing with it, right? The poles in my studio today that we're using are gonna be static poles, meaning they do not spin, right? There are rotating poles, but we're gonna start off learning and understanding our stripper physics on a static pole. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to learn our pole warm-ups. Okay? So we're going to start off with our slut strut. This is going to help warm up the middle of the pole. Also your wrists, forearms, and shoulders, and hands. So your feet go close to the base of the pole. You reach up really high, and we have a extended shoulder. So you're reaching all the way through a disengaged shoulder position. So now you can find your engaged shoulder position. And that means we want to pull the shoulder down. This is going to be very important because this is how we're going to prevent shoulder injuries. So now, with your slut strut, you're just going to give me your best slut strut walking around the pole a couple times. Ready? Go. Slut strut, walking it around. Keep your feet close to the base of the pole so that you can lean your body away and you feel a little bit of that momentum taking you around. Let's uh, change it and let's go to the other side. So take your outside leg, step in front. Now, pivot and swing to change and grab on top again. Then walk it around for your slut strut again. All right, that is our slut strut. So now, we're gonna take that and we're gonna turn that into our jitterbug. So we're gonna start here with the thumbs down, wrist cross. And every time you face the pole, you wanna have this cross wrist grip. And every time your back is to the pole in this exercise, you're not gonna cross the wrist. This is the jitterbug. Facing front, pole, grab on bottom. Now turning and facing the pole, Grab on top, cross wrist. So we have jitterbug and grab on bottom, grab on top, grab on bottom, grab on top. Now swing your hips, one, and this is our Chanel. So it's just like we're making the Chanel symbol, two back to back skis, two half circles. Good. Now we're gonna go to the shoulder engagement exercise. So we're gonna work that shoulder engagement again. So I'm gonna hold here and I'm gonna look for the stretch, which is my disengage. Then I'm gonna engage the muscles in my shoulder and my back, my shoulder girdle here. So not the shoulder joint, but the shoulder girdle pull back. So what's happening is I'm using all those muscles that attach to my scapula and to my spine and my ribs, and that's what's gonna help protect my shoulder and keep my arm attached to my torso. Okay, that's our jitterbug. So let's take our slut strut, transition it into our jitterbug combo. Ready, here we go. I'm gonna start on the right side, walk it around, slut strut. And then I'm gonna step with my outside leg front and swing to pivot and change direction. I'm gonna walk again, slut strut. And this time, step with the outside leg front, swing the hip and prepare the hands for your jitterbug. Okay, ready, here we go. Turn, grab on bottom, grab on top, grab on bottom, grab on top. Good, now, Chanel's swing, two, three, four, and then shoulder engage and disengage. And now, let's make that shoulder engagement exercise a little bit sexier. So now instead of just a static disengage and engage, I'm gonna actually disengage and round my spine. So I have spine flexion forward, and I feel a stretch. Then I'm gonna engage and lift, and you see how if I really exaggerate the arch, of my spine or the extension of the spine. Now my chest is lifted, I'm gonna roll 
down the spine to that disengaged position. Keep the elbow straight so that we're focusing on using this and not the neck and the arm. Lift up and roll down. Lift up and roll down. So now we should be pretty warm. We've warmed up everything from muscle in the ears even, all the way to our toes. Now we're gonna to go to our first transition where we're going to actually be on the pole. We're gonna start with our slut strut one time around, one time. Slut strut, face the front, and the hand is gonna come in, this hand is gonna come down. So we reach low. Then reach all the way out for a full range of motion in the shoulder into side flexion through the spine. Then you're gonna make your bridge by stroking your ball, and there's your bridge. Now you have something to pass under. So you're gonna point your foot in front because that's where you're gonna go. So you're gonna tell yourself I'm going right there. Then take the closest shoulder to the pole under the bridge and onto the pole. So find that shoulder right against the pole. Now take the rest of your lower body and walk it forward in front of the pole, leaning back against the pole, right? Now, this hand is going to become your floor radar and this hand is going to hold the pole here. And we will have a twisted grip here. So that now, this is gonna be a safety grip, right? So we have safety number one and safety number two. And safety number three is gonna be your shoulder pushing on the pole, right? So this is gonna help guide your speed to the floor, and this is gonna help you find the floor. So this is your floor radar telling you the floor is coming, right? Now, here's where we're gonna introduce rule number three of practicing safe pole, which is no drinking and dancing. But a shot or two, a beer or two, shouldn't be a big deal. My point with rule number three is, please don't get your face and think you're gonna be the next pole star. Because it won't go down the way you think it will, I promise you that, right? So, roll down the spine. This is your lazy stripper. So you feel how the pole, you're holding the pole here, and you're just rolling your spine along the pole. Maybe let's paint some circles here. Now it's not synchronized pole, so you don't have to match me. Now, once you're done here, let's lean back against the pole and slide to the floor. This hand controls your speed. This hand tells you floor is coming. There's the floor. Then you're gonna point the same leg, same arm, same leg, sit, angle the leg sideways, and roll to your belly for your four up push-up that we did in our floor warm-up. Lift, sit it back, heavy here, Hair flip, hair flip, shoulder roll, and then hands down, hop it straight up. Heavy hair again. Woo, that's your lazy stripper. Let's put some music on, let's try this a couple times. That is our first pole transition, and we use those to make sure that we're all warmed up. Now let's move into a little bit of strengthening. If you're going to hold yourself onto the pole, you need to have some strong hands and wrists. We also want to make sure that we are working the core and primarily your scapular stabilization muscles because those are gonna be what protect the shoulders so that we aren't doing this. I call this the my precious. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to be pole dancing like this. So we always want the neck long and the shoulders engaged. So we're gonna go for our strength hold. Your strength hold is going to use our first law of stripper physics, which is the law of leverage. So here's what the law of leverage says. If you have a push and a pull dynamic, that will leverage things. Here's how easy it is. I have a push, so I'm pushing my chest on the pole. That's helping to engage my shoulders. Now I'm gonna hold the pole, and that pull is going to be my pull dynamic. So I have push, pull. And that is my leverage right there. So now I have leveraged my weight on the pole. Really pull tight, lift one, lift the other. There you go, and lengthen it to the floor. Good, 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 good. Now, in the beginning, you might only get there for like a second. Yeah. As you get stronger, you'll be able to hold it longer. Now, are you ready to learn a spin? Yes. yes. So ready. Yes, okay, so. And if you remember in the beginning, we did our slut strut. Yes. Okay, so we're gonna take that slut strut, but we're gonna kind of bump it up a little bit. So holding here, leaning out, leaning forward. So keep that shoulder engaged. Now just lean your body forward, just like you did with your slut strut, and feel that momentum as you go around the pole. <laughs> so again, if we are following our stripper physics, our law of circular motion, we keep the object away, keep the shoulder engaged so that we have all of this nice and square and solid, 
your body will create that momentum going around the pole, right? Physics will do all the work for you. It'll be that simple. We're working smarter rather than harder. So find your starfish alignment in your starfish preparation. So I want to pretend I'm a little starfish. Hold the pole. And then take the outside leg off the floor and point it. And then align your spine so that your spine and the pole are parallel. So you want to bring your hip under your hip, your ribs, and shoulders engaged. So when you take this leg off the floor, you're naturally going to feel, uh-oh, right? And you want to avoid that. So we want to try and pull the hip with the abs, the obliques, your spine, muscles, everything, this whole corset of muscle. So if you look, you'll have a rectangle that goes right here, an imaginary rectangle. So when you go up into your starfish prep there, if you see that rectangle go away, then you know you've lost your engagement in your shoulder and in your core. So let's go into starfish preparation. Shoulders down, point the toe, tighten those abs. This hand is gonna end up holding the pole. This leg is gonna stay outside and point on the floor. This leg will rotate and wrap around the pole. We want to push away and let it circle. Hold the pole. Let it rock. There you go. Yeah. Done. Lay it to the side. Point the toe. Roll to your belly. We're not push up. Heavy hair if you want to add the hair flips. If you don't like them, you can leave them out. And then hands down. Pop it up. Heavy hair. Ah, that's your starfish spin. That was really good. So let's put some music on. Let's put all of this together. Okay. We're going to do everything that we did today, and I'm going to show you how right away, right now, after just one class with me, you have enough to go get a job.
prove it. It's okay. Gotta prove it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, YouTube. It's Brenna Black. If you like what you just saw, prove it. And check out our YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe.